here we go. Let's switch on over to our table view. There we go. Let me update my names here. And I will get the archetype for Sam's deck for you as soon as I possibly can. It is not bug control. That much I do know. Okay, it is Storm, like I thought. So I thought that the Storm player uh, had um, had lost. It turns out that he had won. So we do get the Storm, just like you wanted, AK. Update that. So looking into this mill deck that I'd promised you from Tyler Carden. Uh, Tyler on the right here. I'll show his beautiful face in just a second. We have an ensnaring bridge deck, right? This deck uses one of the most broken cards in modern, one of the most fundamentally game-altering cards in modern, right up there with uh, Blood Moon um, and like Urza's Tower. <clears throat> Coincidentally, both in 8th edition. In Snaring Bridge, he uses in Snaring Bridge to lock down the ground while his janky cards that do not interact with the battlefield, right? Archive Trap, Glimpse the Unthinkable, Breaking Entering, Fraying Sin, Mesmeric Orb, Crypt Incursion. None of these cards interact with the battlefield. Uh, while he uses these to mill his opponent's deck. Players roll the goofiest dice I've ever seen. <laughs> and here we go Mill versus Blue Red Storm. This is going to be a battle of the goldfishes, right? Tyler Carden is trying to mill his opponent out and has very little board interaction. Um, he has Crypt Incursion, maybe gain a few life against Sam. He has uh, Path to Exile to maybe destroy a mill creature, or excuse me, destroy a cost reducer. Uh, and he has Surgical Extraction, most importantly, to perhaps exile a key Grape Shot. Sam also trying to goldfish. He does not have much to get in the way of a surgical extraction pre board. He has one remand, uh, which doesn't really even do it because two more life will just be paid. The real card he has is one noxious revival. So there is a Hedron Crab. Zero lightning bolts in Sam Durfee's deck.
Sam Durfee getting set up here. He's digging for a mana creature, it looks like. Oh, look at this. Scrape shot your Heatron Crab. Not a bad play when your opponent has Mulligan to six, right? Maybe that's his only way of recurring mill. And wow, Tyler just says go. He didn't have a land anyway. Here we go. Serum Vision sees Sleight of Hand and land. Bottom, bottom. Again, just searching for that mana creature. The standard six in Sam Storm deck here. Important to note uh, that in this matchup, Sam has zero fetch lands. He's playing the fetchless version of Storm, which means that uh, Tyler's four archive traps can really only be triggered by gifts ungiven. So it's definitely possible Tyler just has a hand with a couple of archive traps, maybe a crypt incursion, and snaring bridge fraying sanity. It's very possible path to exile. Visions of Beyond. Very possible that uh, Tyler's hand is just garbage right now. To all our viewers, thank you for um, for joining us, joining me at this uh, modern one thousand dollar challenge. I'm giving away a thousand bucks today. This is a titanium event, part of our titanium series. If you don't know about it, you can check us out on Facebook. We have one Ks every month and five and ten Ks periodically. Next weekend we have a ten K. Tyler passes the turn. Sam, end of turn. Pulls out four cards from his deck from Gifts Ungiven. We will see if Tyler has any archive traps. This will be his time to fire them off if he has them. Sam decides on Ritual, Ritual, Grape Shot, Noxious Revival. This is the much more pedestrian, creatureless kill here he's going for. He's going for just multiple grape shots here. Definitely have to work more if you don't have a Baral or um, an Electromancer in play. And Tyler gives him the rituals. We'll see archive trap. Yep, here's one. Gonna mill 13 cards. Archive Trap, definitely one of the coolest mill spells they've made, uh, honestly, in the history of magic. I mean, you look at these spells, Glimpse the Unthinkable is powerful, but it's not unique, really. Archive Trap is, uh, is a card that you can actually play around. You can't play around Glimpse the Unthinkable, it just does what it does. So 
So here we go, Baral. Now we'll see if Tyler has a way to disrupt this. He does. This is going to be a white land into a path to exile, I think. And Sam will continue as though nothing happened. Path still on the stack. That is, this is clearly all the interaction that Tyler Carden has. He has no surgicals. Storm count is now five. Will Sam go for the gifts ungiven? He will. We'll see if Tyler has stripped enough from Sam's deck with a single mill spell. It doesn't look like he still has one of most of his key cards here. I wonder if his last card that he gets will be Remand. Ritual, Ritual, nope, he gets another Grape Shot. That should be the last Grape Shot in the deck. So if Grape Shot goes to the graveyard, uh, Tyler, if Tyler puts Grape Shot in the graveyard, this will have to be a past in Flames kill. And Sam continues as though path never happened. At the end of the day, that desperate ritual will resolve. Oh, okay, it's just a scoop. Tyler sees the writing on the wall, past and flames in hand, full stocked graveyard thanks to archive trap. And yeah, pretty much no brainer scoop there from Tyler, he saves some time. So, going ahead to sideboards. Uh, we'll start with the easy one, Sam Durfee, right? He knows exactly what Tyler's trying to do. He saw Hedron Crab and Archive Trap. Cannot be much more clear than that. The only question is, if you're Sam, you have to think, well, what type of hate is my opponent going to have? You know he's going to have main deck surgicals. So you have to, do, to have to diversify a little bit, right? You have to bring in at least one Empty the Warrens, possibly two. Have no counter spells you can bring in, right? There's no dispel for that surgical. He might want to consider swapping gifts ungiven for pieces of the puzzle, completely nullify the archive trap, make it into a, a five mana card. That's a swap that you usually make against decks that uh, like attack your graveyard. But that's a good swap against archive trap as well. He may bring in Lightning Bolt for Hedron Crab. That's a, that's a definite maybe. On the play, I think I'd be way less likely to, but on the draw, it's not a, not a bad thing to do. Other options, Madcap into Platinum Empyrean. Obviously, that's going to be Garbage here. A Braid, not really going to be what he wants to be doing. Wipe away not really going to do much. So certainly pieces for gifts uh, is a logical swap and empty the Warrens, possibly lightning bolts. On the other side of the battlefield, Tyler Carden. His sideboard is A, hard to read for me. B, it's a bunch of one-ofs. So he has a fourth surgical. He has a ravenous trap if he wants it. Uh, he has an Ashiok if he wants a uh, just to kind of like get lucky, maybe exile all the grape shots. But other than that, he has a lot of creature hate. Um, he has some life gain. He has stuff like disenchant, detention sphere. Not really ways of interacting with the stack. So Tyler's deck is going to stay somewhat the same.
he could be fairly advantaged in this map in this match as it is. Guys, thanks for sticking with us. One dumb punk, fisticuffs, Nick, Adam, the guy that in the chat who's definitely my favorite um, favorite watcher right now, the Ginger Monster. I like that one. I appreciate you. Tyler's played this mill deck for a while. Um, I've seen him play it at more than one event. How long? I couldn't say. But he definitely knows his way around the mill deck. Uh, I think the numbers he arrived at are not by accident. Three visions of beyond. He has a one Bantu's last reckoning in the main deck that certainly got sided out here. Although, maybe not, because he, he already has to board out three Ensnaring Bridge, one Bantu's, four Path to Exile, two Crypt Incursion. And not all that much to board in. So it's very possible uh, that something like a Bantu's could stay in to counteract uh, and empty the Warrens. Or that paths could stay in to get the two mana creatures, especially on the draw. Crypt Incursion certainly has to go. And Snaring Bridge definitely has to go. Tyler sacks the Flooded Strand. End of turn. He's going to find a dual land. OG Shock and OG Fetch. I appreciate that. Luckily, Matthew Folks is not in the room, so that Flooded Strand, don't really have to watch it. It's safe where it is. Sheldock Isle for Tyler. And wow, look at this. I have never seen this before. He knows that he has foreign cards. He knows that he has altered cards. He has printed out versions of his cards to show his opponent to save time, to not call a judge for. Sam, no mana creature again. Young Tyler there on the right. And he goes for a fraying sanity. He decides now is the time. He taps out. Maybe he has a surgical. Maybe he doesn't. So fraying sanity, if you're not aware. Three mana, and uh, it's a curse. Enchant a player. It says whenever, at the end of each turn, whenever uh, a card goes to that player's graveyard from anywhere, to library hand, play, whatever, you mill that many cards. So if Sand casts Gifts on Given, two cards go to the graveyard, Gifts goes to the graveyard, he would mill three cards. If you had two Frank Sandys, well, then it starts to get crazy. Five cards go to the graveyard, then you mill five, then you mill ten. So 
So here we go. Sam Durfee starts to go for it. Tyler's counting up on his fraying sanity. Does he have a surgical? Y'all at home, what do you think? Is this the face of a man with a surgical extraction? I'm inclined to say yes. I think that's a face of a man who has not given up this game yet. Empty the Warrens, make six goblins. Sam does not go all in on any type of combo. Now can Tyler, how much can Tyler mill? Breaking. Believe that mills eight cards. Eight cards, hit the bin. Mesmeric Orb, okay. So, Ty uh, Tyler uh, going to force Sam to mill eight cards at the end of the turn due to Frank's sanity. He's going to untap three lands, mill three cards immediately. One, two, three. Frank's sanity, three. Noxious Revival in the bin. That one's pretty important. Two Grape Shots in the bin as well. So Sam Durfee, if he boarded out a Grape Shot, he has no more left. Of course, Past and Flames in hand. And this is a pretty funny interaction here. Goblin tokens versus Mesmeric Orb. And some part of me still thinks that Tyler Carden has Surgical in his hand. Just the way he's, his body language makes me think he has Surgical. I think Tyler Carden's going to take this one. It seems like too much for Sam to fight through. There's not much Sam can do here. His fourth land comes into play tapped. He has no cost. Oh, he does have a cost reducer. Okay, he has a Baral. But he is looking to get milled out next turn. Yeah, he just says go. Frank Sanity mills three. He cannot attack with his goblin tokens. On turn three, he made six goblin tokens, but they can't attack. Mesmeric Lord Frank Sanity would kill Sam Thurfee. Tyler Carden. If his Shell Dock Isla is not active, it will certainly be active in about one or two draw phases from Sam Durfee. Everything tilted in Tyler Carden's favor here. Can he force a game three? was about to tap all of his mana. Is he thinking about an archive trap? Ashiok, my God, he did side in Ashiok. He had so much to side out that he decided Ashiok was okay to keep in, or to put in rather. So Ashiok going to exile the top three cards of Sam Durfee's library. 
And if Sheldock Isle was not active yet, it certainly is now. One card milled from Mesmeric Orb. It feels like this has to be Sam Thurfee's turn. He has to make something happen this turn. He just has to. And there's the scoop. Tyler Carden does take game two. Nicely done, Tyler. Turns out this me that mesmeric orb is a natural counter to empty the Warrens. Go figure. That was Tyler Carden on the play. Now Tyler Carden has to be on the draw against the explosive storm deck. Sam Durfee doesn't look like he's making any changes here. It was interesting to me, he put in the Empty Warrens, he put in the pieces of the puzzle for the gifts, he put in the wipe away. I saw no lightning bolts. And if I were Sam, I don't know. To, to me, it feels like one of the ways you might win this game is through like some semi combos, right? Lightning bolt them, grape shot them, get them to 10, and then maybe try to do it again. Some attacks with Electromancer. I might have some lightning bolts in my deck. Also, of course, does kill Hedron Crab. It is a good answer to Crab on the play, right? They play turn one Crab, you kill it. Uh, you untap, you play a mana creature. You retake the initiative. You get some tempo there. Make Tyler deal with your mana creature, or you probably just win. But we'll see. I don't think Sam Durfee went back to his sideboard. Oh, there's seven from Tyler waiting on Sam. Sam pawned through the tokens I brought. Making sure that the worm coil death toucher is there, maybe. Here we go. Sam on the play for this game. I see an empty. like lands and spells gotta keep lands and spells in the storm deck I think but will Tyler he will not 
goes to the well for six fresh cards. He's looking for that orb, looking for that crab. Most importantly, though, looking for that surgical extraction. That's the one he needs. And if he can combine a collective brutality with a surgical extraction, or if he can, like, turn to glimpse, hit the grape shot, surgical the grape shot, he is in a great position. Forces Sam to rely on Empty the Warrens if he can get the grape shot, get all three grape shots out of the game. Another reason why I feel like some number of lightning bolts might be okay. Extra hedge against the surgical. Tyler going to deal himself damage with his lands, with his surgical paying two life. Uh, and if you can cobble together like a bolt, an empty, past inflamed bolt, something like that, maybe you can steal a win. Looks like Sam goes top top with his Searing Visions. He likes what he has. Listen, Big Booty Judy. Listen. You wait an hour, an hour and a half to make your first comment in chat. And that's it? That's what you came up with after an hour and a half? What are you trying to replicate my tweets? Full of sound and fury signifying nothing? Go do some glute exercises, Judy. Here we go, collective brutality. What's he gonna discard? We see. Morphos, Morphos. A braid, interesting. Is a Mesmeric Orb answer, I suppose. Gotta have some. Will Tyler go for the Empty the Warrens and Surgical it? Well, he does discard it. The only action that Sam Durfee has. Of course, he has two cantrips and a draw phase. We'll see what he can pull here is a past in flames. Sam Thurfee builds his mana base, says go. The threat of surgical is so real and there is so little that Sam can do about it. Hard to play around. Glimpse on the stack. Metamorphose does not find a counter. Mills 10 cards. I don't see a grape shot. Sam pulls a Serum Visions. Tyler, happy to see it. He's like, dude, you can cantrip as many times as you want. You're just helping me. Sam does see a Baral on top. Definitely wants that one, I'd imagine. Problem is, anything you scry to the top might just get milled away. In response to a mill spell, we might see the other Manamorphos. As painful as that is to cast Manamorphos when you have a Baral on top, he might just have to, to draw into it.
you're just joining us, this is game three. These players are 1-0. and They're fighting to go to 2-0. and It's only a five-rounder, so 2-0 and is super powerful in a five-rounder. They have 14 or 15 minutes left, 1540 left to finish this game, and it's all going to come to a head really soon here. We have a glimpse of the unthinkable. Metamorphose in response to draw the Baral. Not sure why Tyler tapped three mana for glimpse. Tyler did hit a grape shot just there. Will he surgical grape shot? Shellback Isle is so close to active here. That die is ticking down to try and figure out when Shellback Isle is. There's the hand down again from Tyler. Last game, I thought that that might mean he had a surgical. Not so sure this time. Here we go, desperate ritual, pyretic rather. Will this be met with a path? No, there's the hand down. Tyler seems to be F6-ing. Well, we see the splice of ritual. Just the hard cast ritual. And here we go, passed in flames. And wow, it resolves. No surgical extraction to be seen. No path to exile to be seen. Tyler had to have just kept this hand on the back of Collective Brutality, just hoping that he'd draw into one of his four surgicals, that he'd draw into a path to exile even for a mana creature. But he can't quite do it, and this should be a textbook win for the Storm player here. Can't imagine much going wrong here. Okay, thanks for sticking with me. Had to talk to Judge Sam on mute there for a minute. And yeah, here's the handshake. Oh, Tyler. That's a whammy. 
he kept a hand, looks like, with uh, four spells, three land, and by his hand motions, I think he's saying, I drew into all land. Of course, that is uh, the unseen cost of playing a deck like this, right? Sam is playing a combo deck where he gets to play Sleight of Hand, Opt, and Serum Visions to fix his draws. Tyler is playing a combo deck where, well, he plays no cantrips. I don't know if there's not enough room or it was a conscious choice not to, but he's playing no cantrips. Just hoping he draws into the cards he needs, wants a redundancy of the types of cards that he has. Or so deck building theory goes. Right, if, if you have uh, 30 cards that all do the same thing, well, what the hell do you need cantrips for? You get to play a higher density of cards, save on all those one manas over time. We see how the players sideboarded those beautiful ensnaring bridges. So that is the round. This was the last match. So I'm not even going to have to fill 20 minutes with stuff y'all don't care about. We're just going to get to watch another match of Magic Cards very, very soon. So AK, I got your Storm match. Wanted a Necrotic Ooze match. Uh, someone whose name is escaping me in chat on a Necrotic Ooze match. Going to try to see if anyone registered that card this tournament. Oh yeah, we gotta go with this one. Table number six again. Thank you, Sam. So we have a sweet match coming up for you. I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what it is, but I am going to go scarf down a slice of pizza in about, mm, it's going to take me about a minute and a half. So let me set my timer for that. And I will be right back. <laughs> 